Hello everyone. In this class, we will learn about electroencephalogram that is EEG and also about the sleep. Electroencephalogram, the record of electrical activity of the brain that is cerebrum is called electroencephalogram. It can be recorded by placing two electrodes on the scalp and connecting them via a suitable amplifier to a cathode ray oscilloscope. It was first introduced by Hans Berger. EEG obtained by placing the electrodes directly on the exposed surface of cerebral hemispheres that is on the pile surface of the cortex is called as electrocorticogram that is ECOG. Normal EEG. The EEG can be recorded by using two methods bipolar and unipolar. Bipolar method uh, it is the record of potential difference between two cortical electrodes. For example, one electrode is kept on the frontal area and another one on occipital area. In unipolar method, it is a record of potential difference between an active electrode and an indifferent electrode applied on the some part of the body distant from the cortex such as earlobe. The waves of EEG are classified according to the frequency and voltage. Alpha rhythm. They are present at rest that is physical as well as mental. When eyes are closed and form the most prominent components of EEG. Its frequency is decreased by low blood glucose, low body temperature, high arterial PCO2 and sleep. Also its frequency is increased by high blood glucose, rise in the body temperature, low arterial PCO2 and alerting states. The alpha waves are associated with decreased levels of attention and when alpha rhythm are being generated, subjects report that they feel relaxed and happy. The replacement of regular alpha rhythm uh, with fast high frequency irregular low amplitude voltage activity is called as alpha block or desynchronization of the EEG. It represents a breaking up of the synchronized activity of the cortical neurons responsible for alpha wave pattern. A breakup of the alpha pattern is produced by an form of sensory stimulation such as opening of the eyes or mental concentration. So here you can see the normal alpha rhythm and when the person is relaxed, eyes closed uh, and when his eyes are open, the alpha waves they are uh, converted into beta waves. I mean the alpha is replaced with beta rhythm which is also called as alpha block or it is also called as alert or arousal phenomenon. Again when eyes are closed the, the alpha waves uh, they predominates again in the EEG. So this is the classification of uh, different waves that we see in the ECG. They can be alpha rhythm, beta rhythm, theta or delta. Based on the frequency and amplitude they have been classified. The frequency of alpha waves is around 8 to 12 hertz and amplitude is around 50 to 100 microvolts and they are present maximally in the occipital and parieto occipital area when eyes are closed. And beta uh, rhythm where their frequency is 14 to 30 hertz amplitude uh, around uh, 5 to 10 microvolts generally they are seen in the frontal region normally in uh, the wake pattern and they are also commonly seen in infants. The theta rhythm frequency is low 4 to 7 hertz, amplitude is also less often found over the parietal and temporal areas. They are also normal in children and in early phases of sleep. Whereas delta rhythm frequency is uh, further low 1 to 4 but amplitude is higher, they can measure up to 20 to 200 microvolts and usually appear during sleep. It can be produced by over breathing or uh, evidence of any organic uh, brain disease. The uses of electroencephalogram, the, it is used for localization of the pathological conditions like subdural hematoma, fluid collection which is associated with uh, uh, decreased EEG activity over that particular area. Lesion in the cortex causes local uh, formation of irregular or slow way in ECG. It is also used for diagnosis of uh, epilepsy. epilepsy is due to the excessive discharge of the cerebral neurons. Epileptic foci can generate high voltage amplitude waves in EEG 
which can be localized. There are different forms of epilepsy, grand mal epilepsy and petit mal epilepsy. Grand mal epilepsy is characterized by loss of consciousness without uh, aura that is uh, warning sign and this is followed by generalized convulsions with tonic muscle contraction and clonic jerks. Here EEG uh, shows high voltage that is up to 1000 micro volts activity uh, during tonic phase and slow waves uh, each preceded by spike at the time of clonic jerk and slow wave over some time even after the attack is over. The, the petit mal epilepsy it is a form of epilepsy in children characterized by abrupt loss of consciousness uh, without falling or incontinence and lasting for few seconds. Here EEG shows three doublets per second and each consisting of a typical spike and rounded waves. Coming to the sleep, sleep is defined as unconsciousness from which the person can be aroused by sensory or other stimuli. It is a physiological process by which body functions are periodically rested. It is to be distinguished from coma which is the consciousness from which the person cannot be aroused. Some of the physiological changes during sleep can occur are in the cardiovascular system, heart rate, cardiac output, vasomotor tone, blood pressure decrease. In the respiratory system, tidal volume, respiratory rate, pulmonary ventilation increase decreases, BMR decreases, urine volume decreases, while phosphate content and specific gravity increases, therefore more concentrated urine is formed. Uh, amongst the secretion, salivary and lacrimal secretion decreases, sweat secretion increases, gastric secretion either remains or unaltered or it can increase. Muscles are completely relaxed and tone is minimum. If you see in the eye, eyeballs roll up uh, and uh, out due to flaccidity of external ocular muscles. Eyelids come closer due to the drooping of the eyelid, pupils constrict, blood volume increases resulting in dilution of the plasma. Then in the nervous system, EG shows appearance of delta waves and the deep reflexes are reduced, superficial reflexes remain unchanged and uh, light reflexes retain. There are different types of uh, sleep, they are categorized into the NREM type and REM type. So NREM type is non-rapid eyeball movement sleep or slow wave sleep. In NREM sleep, it is divided again into four stages. E, uh, each successive stage will have an EEG pattern with a slower frequency and high voltage than the preceding one. Initially, there are considerable. Uh, initially, there is a considerably tone in the postural muscle, and it progressively decreases. The eyes begin to slow, rolling movements until they finally stop in the stage four, that is in deep sleep, with the eyes turn upwards. During NREM sleep, there is a release of both growth hormone and gonadotropins from pituitary. Body metabolism is lowered. Also, there is a decrease in the blood pressure, heart rate and respiratory rate. When awakened, person does not report dreaming. After a person has been in NREM sleep for about an hour, the sequence of sleep stages is repeated in reverse order. That is the person passes from stage 4, 3, 2, 1 and then he finally enters into the REM sleep. The REM sleep that is rapid eyeball movement sleep or it is also called as paradoxical sleep. During REM sleep, the eyeballs move frequently with the saccadic eye movements. Saccadic eye movements are small jerky fast movements that rapidly bring the eyes from one fixation point to another and may be associated with watching visual Im images of dream. Here EEG shows synchronized, desynchronized pattern. Dreaming is closely associated with this sleep. When awakened, the person report that 80 to 90 percent of the time they had been uh, dreaming. The REM sleep is associated with increase and irregularity in the blood pressure, heart rate and respiratory rate. 
the skeletal muscle tone markedly reduced this is responsible for snoring during uh, sleep as a relaxed tongue in the supine posture partially obstructs the air passage the rem sleep is associated with large phasic potential uh, in groups of 3 to 5 they originate in the pons and pass rapidly to the lateral geniculate body and thence to the occipital cortex therefore they are called as ponto geniculo occipital spikes that is pgo spikes this activates the reticular innervating area in the medulla producing the hypotonia teeth teeth grinding that is bruxism in children erection of penis engorgement of the clitoris and twitches of the facial or limb muscles may occur in rem sleep sleep cycle a sleep cycle consists of two phases as uh, nrem sleep followed by rem sleep the continuous recording of adults shows that average total sleep period comprises of four to five such cycles and each lasting for 90 to 100 minutes in a typical 90 minute sleep cycle nrem sleep occupies the first 70 minutes and rem the last 20 minutes so these are the different stages of uh, nrem sleep that is stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 and rem sleep initially the sleep starts with stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 and then it reverses back like stage 3 stage 4 stage 1 and then there'll be nrem sleep so like this there'll be at least 3 to 5 uh, cycles in a total uh, sleep hour of 8 uh, hours genesis of sleep genesis of nrem sleep inhibition of reticular activating system inputs by descending pathways which arise from the preoptic and diagonal band of broca it also occurs because of the stimulation of the sleep promoting mechanism that is the rhythmic discharge from the thalamus these mechanisms get influenced by diencephalic sleep zone and medullary synchronizing zone diencephalic sleep zone present in the posterior hypothalamus interlaminar and anterior thalamic nuclei whereas medullary synchronizing zone it is present in the reticular formation of the medulla oblongata mechanism that can cause sleep it is important uh, stimulation area for the sleep in the raphe nuclei in the lower half to pons and medulla the nerve fibers from these nuclei spread locally in the brain stem reticular formation and also upward to the thalamus hypothalamus and most areas of the limbic system and even the neocortex of the cerebrum in addition fibers extend downward into the spinal cord terminating in the posterior horns where they can inhibit incoming sensory signals including pain the nerve endings of fibers from the raphe neurons secrete serotonin when drug that block the formation of serotonin is given then the sleep is deprived for several days therefore it is assumed that serotonin is a, a neurotransmitter substance that associated with production of sleep stimulation of some areas of the nucleus of tractus solitaires also causes sleep stimulation of several regions of the diencephalon can also promote sleep including the rostral part of the hypothalamus and an occasional area in the diffuse nuclei of thalamus genesis of rem sleep genesis of rem sleep is due to two factors that is discharge of norepinephrine from the neurons located in the pontine reticular formation and locus ceruleus and cholinergic system is necessary for shifting of nrem to rem sleep resapine uh, a drug which depletes the serotonin and catecholamines blocks the slow Uh, wave sleep barbiturate uh, the drugs which decrease the amount of rem sleep coming to sleep disorders insomnia is a condition of being unable to sleep somnambulism or sleep walking is a more common in children and may last for several minutes such individuals walk with their eyes open and avoid obstacles but when awakened they cannot recall the episode nocturnal enuresis is involuntary voiding of urine during sleep at night and narcolepsy is a, a disease of unknown cause which, uh, which there is uncontrolled urge to sleep during daytime activities 
So these are the, some of the changes uh, which we see in NREM sleep, uh, the behavioral as well as EEG changes. In stage 1, NREM sleep, uh, this stage is of drowsiness and falling asleep. It is characterized by easily aroused by moderate stimuli or even neck muscle jerk and uh, it is a continuous lack of awareness. Easy changes, alpha waves is reduced in frequency and amplitude. In stage 2, it is a true sleep and there is a further lack of sensitivity to activation and arousal. The easy changes are characterized by appearance of sleep spindles, that is uh, due to the reverberating activity between thalamus and cerebral cortex. These are the bursts of regular alpha-like waves 10 to 14 hertz and 50 uh, millivolts and appearance of alpha rhythm in between uh, beta rhythm is known as sleep spindles. In stage 3, the sleep deepens uh, and uh, the easy changes where sleep spindles are occasional and are now superimposed on background of uh, waves of uh, delta type. Stage 4 is a stage of deep sleep in which it is difficult to arouse the person. Arousal occurs, occurs only with vigorous stimulation and when awakened, the person does not report dreaming. And the EEG waves here are slow and high voltage delta waves. Where the REM, the paradoxical uh, sleep, it is the deepest uh, sleep. The REM sleep is also called as paradoxical sleep because the sleeping person, uh, it is difficult to arise despite of having desynchronized easy EEG that is characteristic of alert and awake state. The skeletal muscle tone is markedly reduced except in the eyes where uh, the REM occurs. And REM sleep and dreaming are closely associated. REM sleep is more towards the morning and hence uh, dream, hence dreams are more recollected uh, during early in the morning. Then ECG becomes desynchronized here, that is low voltage, fast activity is seen resembling that of uh, awake state with eyes open, that is beta waves pattern. Uh, large spikes are seen in the EEG called PGO spikes, that is uh, pontogenicolo uh, occipital uh, spikes which are characteristic of REM sleep. These are some of the differences between REM and NREM sleep. In NREM sleep, there is a hypotonia. In REM, there is more hypotonia. The REM shows slow high voltage delta uh, waves and uh, REM sleep shows low voltage beta rhythm waves. In REM, no rapid movement of the eyeballs where the rapid movement of the eyeballs occurs in REM sleep. In NREM, dreams cannot be recalled or vague recalling dreams can be recalled easily in REM sleep. No, in NREM, there is no pontogenic low occipital spikes, but uh, PGO spikes are present in paradoxical uh, sleep. Uh, these can be recorded from the occipital cortex. PGO spikes take origin from the pontine reticular formation. In REM sleep, in REM sleep, pulse, blood pressure, respiration are lowest and regular, whereas pulse, BP, respiration increased and are irregular in paradoxical sleep. Serot in REM sleep, serotonin content of the Raffe Magnus nucleus is associated with slow wave sleep, whereas noradrenaline content of the locus cerulius is associated with paradoxical sleep. The NREM sleep threshold for arousal by sensory stimulus is elevated, where threshold for arousal by sensory stimulation is further elevated in REM sleep. The NREM sleep occupies almost 75% of the total sleep whereas it is 25% uh, is REM sleep. In NREM brain activity is less and in REM sleep the brain activity is, uh, is maximum, it is more. So this is in brief about the electroencephalogram and also the sleep. Thank you.